Hans Kurt Eisel, the 13th of March 1913 in Donaueschingen, the 3rd of May 1967 in Cairo, was a German SS Hauptsturmführer and concentration camp doctor. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. The son of a church painter, Eisel came from a modest background. The situation of the family worsened significantly due to inflation of currency during the 20s. After attending the grammar school in Donaueschingen, he studied medicine in Freiburg in 1931. In 1933 he joined both the National Socialist German Workers' Party member number 3,125,695 and the SS member number 237,421. He was married and had three children. Crimes in the concentration camps In January 1940, Eisel joined the Waffen-SS, transferring to Mauthausen concentration camp, and from February to August 1941 in Buchenwald concentration camp. He served as a camp doctor, and murdered 300 prisoners suffering from tuberculosis. He also performed experimental surgery, sometimes without anesthesia and or with fatal outcome. In addition, he abused and tortured patients. After transferring to Natzweiler concentration camp, he joined the SS hospital in Prague in June 1942. He subsequently transferred to the SS Division Das Reich on the Eastern Front for military duty. In February 1945 he was sent to Dachau concentration camp, where he served under the first camp physician Fritz Hintermeyer. He was arrested by U.S. forces in April 1945. <laughs> <laughs> Trials and punishment On 13 December 1945, Eisel was tried in the Dachau main trial for his participation in three executions for which he had issued the death certificates. He was sentenced to death. After commutation of the sentence to a life sentence on of April 1947, he was in the Buchenwald main trial, tried again and received together with 20 co-defendants the death penalty. However, the basic conviction against Eisel proved dubious and uncertain, so that four of the eight military judges submitted an application that the judgment be converted by the reviewing body to a ten year sentence, which was granted. During his detention in prison for war criminals Landsberg, he wrote an extensive defense titled Audiator et altera pars, in which he denied the allegations and represented himself as a convinced. Christian, who had always been a physician only for the sake of others. In contrast, numerous witnesses of his crimes were former concentration camp prisoners, and sometimes even former SS members. But after another penalty reduction, Eisel, on 26 February 1952, was released from prison. Post-war career and escape to Egypt After his release, he opened a medical practice in Munich. In 1958, during the course of the trial of Martin Sommer, a guard at Buchenwald, new allegations were made against Eisel. He fled to Egypt, where he settled under the pseudonym Karl de Bouche in upmarket Cairo suburb Mahdi. Eisel moved in the circles of former Nazi scientists in Egypt, after a German extradition request had been rejected. There was at least one assassination attempt on Eisel by Mossad, a package bomb in which the Egyptian deliverer died, but Eisel was unhurt. 
Eisel died on 3 May 1967 in unknown circumstances in his home in Mahdi, and was buried in the small German cemetery in grave No. 99. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Ernst Clay, Das Personenlexikon zum Dritten Reich, Wer War was vor und nach 1945. Fischer, Frankfurt am Main 2007, ISBN 978-3-596-16048-8. Ernst Clay, Auschwitz, Die NS Medizin und IHRE Opfer. Third edition. Fischer, Frankfurt am Main 1997, ISBN 3-596-14906-1. Holger Lessing, Der Erste Dachauer Prozess 1945-46. Nomos, Baden-Baden 1993, ISBN 3-7890-2933-5. Case No. 00050-2 U.S. v. Martin Gottfried Weiss et al. Tried December 13, 1945 Eichmüller, Andreas 2012. Keine Generalamnestie, die Strafrechtliche Verfolgung von N.S. Verbrechen in der Frühen Bundesrepublik. Oldenburg Verlag. p. 182. ISBN 978-3-486-70412-9. Harold Marcuse, Legacies of Dachau, The Uses and Abuses of a Concentration Camp, 1933-2001. Buchenwald Concentration Camp, 1937-1945, A Guide to the Permanent Historical Exhibition, Wallstein Verlag. 2004. Devon O. Pendas. The Frankfurt Auschwitz Trial, 1963-1965, Genocide, History, and the Limits of the Law. Cambridge University Press, November 7, 2005.